Collectors here. We're doing a preview of 2024 Top Series 1 Baseball. You can see here I have the Beckett Checklist uh, website up here where you can get an overview of everything on uh, the product that is coming out this Wednesday. That would be the 14th of February. Top Series 1 will be releasing. Uh, and so you can get your hobby boxes and your jumbo boxes first. And then I think retail is supposed to come out, it looks like from uh, the various sites, about two weeks later, approximately. So we'll take a look at what you can find in here. You got 350 cards and the base set. And this is the design. Uh, so it does obviously have borders on it with that little neon um, red. And this Ellie De La Cruz card here. Ellie De La Cruz is one of the top rookies you're looking for in here. The other two top rookies, I think, by most standards, are going to be Evan Carter and Jason Dominguez. And then there's a bunch of B... A C, D, whatever, you, however you want to say it, tier rookies as well. I'd highly recommend going checking out Striker Breaks, and I'll try to leave a, a link to his video, as well as Scotty B. Uh, and both of them do a really good job breaking down the rookies, Scotty B especially even more so. So I'll try to leave a link down below for those videos. Check out Striker too, because he does a very in-depth job about the value of each of the products, and I really appreciate those two channels. They're great channels. So uh, if you haven't already, uh, follow them. Definitely follow them. Great baseball card channels. All right, so here we have uh, what you can find in the actual product, and there are a lot of changes, a lot of new things here. We have the first card, and so I'm not even sure. Oops, sorry there. I'm not even sure what the first card is supposed to be. Um, it's not the rookie cup, it looks like, but first card, so uh, whatever that is. You have the gold foil. Those are in jumbo only, and then you have rainbow foils, and those are going to be pretty prevalent in retail, but you can also get those in hobby and jumbo as well. The royal blue are, of course, only found in uh, the retail products, so you have to get those out of hanger boxes, blaster boxes, uh, mega boxes, and um, the... Uh, uh, what else is there? What else am I missing there? Uh, the retail boxes, I think. Maybe I missed something. Sorry if I did. But yeah, all the retail stuff should have the Royal Blues in there. And then the yellows are found in the hanger boxes. And those hanger boxes are usually pretty solid. And so with the two yellows being in there, that'll be pretty sweet. There's also this yellow crackle down here found only in hanger boxes. And those are actually going to be numbered to 50. So those will probably be pretty sought after. Now we have the team color. And there is a checklist of team color. I think there's 300 cards on there. And I believe that is a new one as well as the true photo. Now, if you go down here a little bit on the website, you can see the true photo is going to be a full bleed um, look to the card. So no borders on it, just uh, more of like a stadium club look to it, I guess you could say. Um, and so that's what the the true photo cards are going to be no real idea how hard there's those are going to be to pull at least according to this um but that'll be interesting then you have the golds which are of course numbered to the year 2024 the blue foil which i believe are retail only and purple as well i believe those are just um retail versions and i believe the green and the orange and the red foil those are all found in hobby um, as well as potentially in retail, you can pull those as well. Um, and then the only things that are exclusive to Hobby, of course, are going to be your blacks, which this year are numbered to 73. Last year, number 72. Each year, they increase. Um, and then you have the clears, which are numbered to 10, which this checklist does not show. And those are going to be only found in Hobby boxes. And so that's a big draw to Hobby. Uh, and then you have, uh, so you have the blacks, and then you have the silver uh, packs, which are only found in Hobby and Jumbo boxes. And in Hobby, you get one uh, of the silver packs, and in Jumbo, you get two. And then those have par or have a chance at parallels in them as well as autographs. So those are always a huge draw when you're buying uh, hobby products or uh, the jumbo pro the hobby or jumbo uh, version so uh, you know there's a lot of value in those two and right now the current prices I believe on hobbies are like around 95 bucks and jumbos are like 175 at least pre-order pricing those could change so make sure you keep that in mind when you're shopping uh, don't assume that those prices will stay the same uh, sometimes they drop sometimes they increase sometimes they stay the same it just depends on the market so just be aware of that 
but this is what the Independence Day looks like. It's a very nice looking card, uh, or very nice looking design. A lot more color to it, and a lot more red, white, and blue, in my opinion, than years past. It looks just like American flag with a picture on it, so I think that's pretty sweet. Um, that is a nice look. And then you have down here uh, the blaster boxes for this year just like last fall when update came out they had the uh, fall parallels or the halloween parallels this time they have easter spring inspiration parallels coming out in blaster boxes so uh, there's uh, the egg parallel and the rabbits parallel and then you have flowers those are gonna be numbered to 50 the umbrella parallel number to 10 and the watering can number to five and then roses one of one so those those will be a fun chase. Now, they're not going to be, and I'll show you those in just a minute, they're not going to be in uh, the uh, Tops Fanatics boxes. Those have Aqua Parallels, and those you can pre-order right now on Fanatics. I'll show you those in just a minute. Uh, but uh, that is just in the retail blaster boxes or the value boxes as they're known uh, and you can get those at you know your local stores like walmart uh, and meyer and target and many other places that sell retail as well barnes and nobles uh, so here we have a look at the golden mirror variations these are the image variations and this year <coughs> excuse me i believe that the back of them is going to be gold. So that's pretty cool. Um, those are always a hard pull. Uh, the SSPs, and they've done away with the SP variation. So they just have these golden mirror. Some people like it, some people don't. But that's the reality of uh, the product again this year. So 2024 it says marks the anniversary, the 35th anniversary of 1989. So we're going to get 1989 inserts as well as autographs in here. And then you can get parallels uh, of these as well. Numbered uh, black, numbered to 299. Uh, real one, numbered to 89. Um, and we have gold 75 and then uh, red number to 10 and then the platinum one of one. So um, that is what one of the inserts looks like. And then you have the foil board cards that are available uh, only through retail mega boxes. And those have a gold foil, an orange foil, a red foil and a black. Uh, so those versions are out there, and that will be kind of interesting. The mega boxes look like they could be a pretty sweet value overall. Um, Tops uh, is also releasing this uh, picture of one of the cool looking inserts that they have coming out, this blueprint insert. So that'll be fun to see. You can also get uh, parallels of these, black, gold, red, uh, and platinum as well. So that's pretty a pretty sweet insert in my opinion. Um, and then... Uh, they have the retail exclusive inserts, of course, stars of the MLB, and don't even get me started on that. I just am not a fan of getting 25 million stars of the MLB cards. I have a bunch sitting actually in here in the room I'm recording, just from all the stuff I opened up last year, and ah, uh, yeah, I'm just not a fan. Um, and to pull any of these parallels is almost impossible. I mean, I pulled a couple, but you got to shred a ton of the stuff. I mean, tons, cases and cases and cases. And you hardly pull parallels. That's what I found, at least in the past, in my experience. Anyways, I'm not a fan of Stars of the MLB. If you are, I'm glad. I wish they would change that up. I wish they'd come out with something different. I really love what Topps has done with the blasters and how they have these holiday parallels and now the Topps Fanatics blasters with the aqua. I think that's really cool and I think it's awesome that they added yellow parallels to all hanger boxes, whereas in the past those were only found in the Walgreens boxes, which they stopped doing that like a year or two ago, but they used to be in Walgreens only and that made those Walgreens uh hangers really valuable or more valuable than the regular so anyways here's a look at the autographs you have uh, a look at the once again the 1989 um, version and these are going to be on card hard sign um, and then there's going to be the relic cards and then the patch cards that are signed as well and some of those are going to be hard signed as well and then uh, here's a look at what you can get, the various varieties. But let's go to DA Card World, their website here, and we're going to take a look at what you can expect to pay, at least at the 
time of release of this video. You have uh, blaster boxes on their site are $25.95. I believe these are going to be $25 MSRP, uh, so $24.95. I could be wrong, but I believe that would be the MSRP. And I think that these hangers are going to be $14.95 MSRP. But anyway, so there's the hangers, there's the blasters, and then we have your hobby boxes, which they right now are selling for $99. I've seen them as low as 95. Maybe you can get them as low as 90. Maybe your card shop, your local shop even has them cheaper. I would uh, suspect some may and some might not. They may be more. Uh, and then we have the jumbos. And the, the jumbos, you get uh, three hits in those. You get uh, one uh, autograph that's guaranteed and then two memorabilia cards that are guaranteed as well as the gold foils. And then you're, you get your two silver packs. And Hobby, uh, you are guaranteed an autograph or a memorabilia card, uh, but not you know, you're not guaranteed one or the other. It's, 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 uh, I should say you're guaranteed one or the other. You're not guaranteed an autograph. Just so you're, you, if you're new to this and you're not sure what you should buy, if you want the autograph, definitely buy the jumbo because you're guaranteed an autograph. Uh, but it is a hefty price difference. So if you're going to buy two of these, you have to decide, do you want to open up uh, two hobbies or would you rather open up one jumbo? Obviously, the two hobbies are going to cost you about 25 bucks more according to this pricing. Uh, so then you have the monster boxes or the mega boxes, and these look like they could be a really good value when those release. Now, this is saying March 6th is when these will be available. So that's going to be quite a ways out. They're going to have these um, retail boxes out sooner, which is the 14th, uh, but those don't look to be the greatest value I may stay away from those, but maybe the price will drop on those a little bit. And then you have uh, these super boxes, and those will be a lot of fun. They kind of look like a Pokemon box, but they're they're cool. They have um, a, a pin in it, an oversized card, other collectibles, uh, these silver cards as well. Um, and so those are pretty fun, uh, and those will come out later. Let's go back up here and check out the re potential release date for blasters. So this is saying release date of the 14th with the hangers, so that's pretty good. I've seen other sites that said later, so we'll see. Do they come out this week? Does retail come out this week? That would be awesome. I would love it if it does. Uh, I'm pumped to see that. Hopefully that is the case, and if so, we will be breaking some uh, you know, on our channel. So stay tuned for that. But that's kind of an overview of the prices and what you can expect for as far as formats go. And one last thing before we uh, conclude here is this is the Fanatics Blaster Boxes. So these are exclusive. Uh, they can uh, contain uh, one of these um, uh redemptions for memorabilia uh so signed jerseys it looks like um there's baseballs i think it may say down here uh it says somewhere details here we go um you can look for insert uh inserted randomly mlb licensed memorabilia now the odds to get these are one in every 251 boxes so good luck pulling one of those uh that's going to be tough but if you do it's awesome and it's just a different way to chase some of the stuff if you're gonna buy a blaster why not spend a little bit more money you get more cards it looks like in these two i believe there are more cards in one of these let's see what it says here again um Okay, 12 cards uh, in one pack and nine, yeah, nine packs per box. So you get nine packs in these and seven in the regular blasters. So that's pretty sweet. And then here is who you can find in the memorabilia redemption checklist. So there's some good names in here Corbin Carroll, Adley Rushman. Uh, you have uh, guys like Carlton Fist, Johnny Bench. Um, and Bobby Witt Jr., Otani's in here, Miggy's in here, Rod Carew, Aaron Judge, Dennis Eckersley, Bryce Harper, uh, Fernando Testis Jr., The Goat, Randy Arozarena, and so much more. So pretty sweet. You can just check out the Fanatics website. And they are a little bit more in price, uh, but right now they have a free shipping. But you do get the two more packs, the extra cards as well, and you get a chance at this memorabilia stuff as well as 
Um, if we can go back here, where is the back arrow? Oh, uh, I lost it. Anyways, you can go back. I'll go back just this way. Um, you can go back here and find also that there are these aqua parallels that you're going to chase out of here as well. So thanks so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments below what you're going to be chasing out of this product this year. Are you going to be looking for... Um, you know, the, uh, or, or which ones are you going to buy? Are you going to be buying hobby jumbo? Are you going to look for retail and what kind of parallels do you like to chase out of here? You know, are you a fan of this new fanatics format? Do you like the yellows being in hangers? So forth and so on. Just drop those comments below. Let me know what you're looking forward to ripping and stay tuned. We're going to have a ton of videos coming out on top series one. Uh, in the near future. So whenever we get them in stock, in hand, ready to rip, we'll be ripping them on the channel and posting videos for you to enjoy. Hopefully Luke will be able to join me along or join along with me in making some of these videos. And we look forward to doing some of those together as well. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you in the next video. Can't wait for Wednesday, uh, release day of Series 1 2024 from Tops. All right, take care, guys. We'll see you soon.